Okay, now I'm using this plastic model for understanding, better understanding, and there I can take one by one. So from the back, you're looking at the rectum, which becomes the anal canal here. And in front of the rectum is the urinary bladder. And there is the prostate gland. This is the urethra, which goes in the penis, and this is the scrotum. And most anterior structure is what? The pubic symphysis. Now let's focus into the urinary bladder. Look at its muscular wall which is made up of detrusor muscles. And then look at the cavity. The cavity is not smooth. And look at the pattern of the mucosa within this urinary bladder. And here you can see that this highlighted structure, which is dark, which is brownish in color, that is the ureteric orifice. And you can see this ureter, which is opening up in the wall of the ureter, in the wall of the urinary bladder, and it has come all the way inside and it opens on the within the lumen of the urinary bladder and we have a similar pattern on the other side and we are we have seeing it a sagittal section so you can see that behind and in front the location and see that how urinary bladder is sitting above on top of the prostate gland Now we can see the organization of urinary bladder in a female model. You can see that this is the front part, this is the pubic symphysis, and this is the urinary bladder. And urinary bladder, you can see it's detrusor muscle part and the cavity of the urinary bladder, and this is the urethra, which opens in the vulva. And there you can see on the superior surface of the urinary bladder, we have this ovoid structure that is the uterus. And then you can see there's a slit like space between the superior on the superior surface between the urinary bladder and the uterus, we call it vesico uterine pouch. And then you can see this uterus, it's bended here, it's been flexed here, and it opens into this is the lower part of the uterus that is called the cervix, and that is opening in the vagina, which is opening down. And behind the uterus, we can see that this is the rectum, which becomes the anal canal. And this is the anus and now you can see a space a, a pouch behind the uterus and in front of the rectum we call it recto uterine pouch or pouch of douglas it has significant clinical correlation which we need which needs to be known and most posterior structure is the sacrum and then if you come down into the cavity you can see these are the external iliac artery and external iliac vein and these are the internal iliac artery and internal iliac vein and these are you're looking at the common iliacs and this whitish structure pearly white structure which is coming down and that is nothing but the ureter and look at here this these are the tubes what tubes are these these are the fallopian tubes and this is the fimbria and this is the ovary now i can demonstrate on this model the urinary bladder and this is you're looking at a urinary bladder and there you can see the ureters on both the sides right and left and you can see that beyond this much part and these are my external ilex and these are internal ilex and these are common ilex the ureter when it crosses over these ilex at the level of can you see this white structure grayish white structure that is the pelvic brim all the way so when it crosses this is the pelvic part of the ureter. Before that, it was the abdominal part. And you can see that it's curving down and entering laterally into the lumen inside of the urinary bladder. And once it passes through the wall of this urinary bladder, this will, that will be the intramural part. This is the pelvic part. And above to this is the abdominal part. So let's zoom in. We can see more clearly how this ureter, the pelvic part of the ureter, it courses within the pelvic cavity and it's opening on both the sides of the urinary bladder. Now, if we open up, if you want to see inside the cavity, now we have opened up this urinary bladder and then you can see that the detrusor muscle, the mucosa, and look at the pattern within the lumen of the urinary bladder and you can see that these are the ureteric orifices and these ureteric orifices and this is the urethral internal urethral orifice and you can see that this is the beginning of the urethra 
and then you can see that this this whitish area is given a name trigon and at the two upper ends you can see this internal opening of the ureter this pelvic ureter when it enters so i can zoom in to see the more detailed part so when it enters in this when it runs in the wall and this is where it opens and these are nothing but the internal openings of the ureter Thank you.